Hey guys, this is all about you here. So, this video, we're going to be talking a little bit more in depth about relationships and love. This is something that I know we all go through it and it's a, it's a very toughy. It's a tough situation when you are trying to figure out how you feel towards another person. You know, when you enter a relationship, it's brand new. You know, you have this period where everything's going right. And, uh, you know, it's like there's no problems at all. No problems. The communication seems to be there. The adventure, the, the charm. You both are looking after one another for the most part. And, you know, you're, you're blindsided by what's going on. You know, because you're just so infatuated with the other person. But then, as we all know, that little period wears off. And uh, then now you're left with the former shell. But in reality, that person has always been that way. It's just you haven't realized it because you've been consumed with this infatuation, right? So how, do you, how would you determine if you love that person? Well you will end up finding out in this video. So, let it begin. So, guys, now we are talking about love. When dealing with love, how can you determine it? Right? This is something that I myself am still figuring out. It's not about having a person love you or, you know, or knowing what love means necessarily. Because love means, love for everyone is different. You know, I, I can say that someone can love you, but they may not necessarily act or think or do certain things that you would expect them to you know because their love doesn't match your love everyone's love is differently everyone loves differently so how do you determine if you love a person well i'll give you a breakdown of how it is for me and in the comments below you guys can let me know how it is for you for me when i love a person which i've only been in love one time you know i could say two times but you know, it was a little, it was like puppy dog love the first time. And the second time, it was more of a, you know, in-depth relationship that I had to, like, analyze and break down. And um, I myself kept trying to fight for the person, but they weren't willing to fight back for the relationship. They were just ready to give it up. And they gave it up a long time before it ended. It got really bad to a point where it was just like, it was meaningless, you know? I think the only good good part was the sex, you know, and that's just being honest. It's just it was it just became a sexual relationship with a person that you actually love and that's kinda of weird, you know, not to have that 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 in that connection with that individual. But anywho, um knowing and learning about what love is to you, right? So if you for me if I am, if I love someone, that's the person that I'm constantly thinking about. You know, love for me, it's like that person is always on my mind. And like, I can't, I can't seem to get rid of them out of my, I can't seem to get them out of my head. It's just, they're, they're always on my mind. And um, it's, it's a good thing. At least I would think so. Uh, because it's always keeping it's always keeping me on my toes and it's always reminding me uh, about why they're so precious to me you know if, if I'm in love with you essentially I'm gonna be constantly texting you constantly calling you I'm gonna I'm gonna be involved on a daily basis you know, and you might say that, oh, you know, you're, you're too, you're, oh, you know, you, 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 you're, you're overdoing it. You know, you're too close to that individual. Give them some space. Nah, if I'm in love with you, you know, I'm in love with you. You know, that's just my personality. 
it's very vibrant and I'm I am like I will engulf you, you know, like there's no way of getting out, you know, um, and it's just, it's a part of me, you know, it's, it's definitely a part of me, but that's one of my forms of love. My, I have so many ways to love, you know, another way of loving is that I'm always attentive, always looking out for you, always wanting to meet up with you, you know. That's love to me. When you always want to meet up with a person, you always want to see them. You know, you even make time and you know you don't got the time. You make it. You know, when you're in love, you will make that time. It doesn't matter. You know, if I'm right now at work and you were like in trouble or, you know, something happened and you were like, I don't know what to do. I need, I need, I need some assistance. I need some help. You know, I, I, I need the person that I love. I'm there for you, you know, like, I would just call immediately and be like, hey, I got to leave an emergency, boom, no questions asked, because I love you, so I'm willing to go all out, you know, love it, for me, it's going all out for that person, no holding back, it's like, you know, I'm going to use some anime terms, but it's like just going super sane for the person you love and just going in, you know, um, you know, don't never hold back, never hold back those feelings because when you love someone, you're going to do whatever it takes for that person, you know, but at the same time, you know, don't get it twisted. If that person's not doing for you, that definitely can hinder that love because being in love doesn't necessarily mean being a fool, you know, and there are many cases where unfortunately, you know, guys and girls, you know, you may love someone, but they don't love you back and that can hurt, you know, it really, it really can hurt the heart because you're invested in them and they're not invested in return. In fact, they use that as weakness, as a major weakness for you and they take advantage of your heart and uh, they'll give you false indications that they may love you or they may care for you. But in reality, it's just, you know, you're a tool. You're more of a tool for them so that when they do need you, they know you're there. But in reality, their eyes and their mind and their heart is elsewhere. You know, so never be a fool. Never be a fool. But um, love is, is something where you, it, it's sometimes very hard to grasp because it's a, a major feeling. You know, you, you feel passionate about that person. You you want to go all out again. You're not holding back. It's like you, you know, you, you, you're just so captivated by that, that individual that you're always there, you know. And that's, to me, that's what love is. Like, if I was to watch Fast and Furious and, you know, Toretto, family is everything. You know, you do whatever you have to do for your family. That love is associated with family. When you love someone, that's your family. You know, that becomes your family. And it could be for a friend. It could be for, you know, uh, for, you know, family members. It doesn't necessarily mean, it doesn't necessarily only consist of a counterpart. You know, now don't get me wrong. Once you add sex to the mix, that love becomes much more tighter because now you feel, you know, being naked and, and having intercourse with a person there's a lot of vulnerability there, you know, not saying that you are, you know, you may feel a certain way about your body, but you're giving a piece of you. You know, I used to, I, I always used to read up on Chinese philosophy and, you know, I'm not going to go too much into it, but, you know, the, one of the philosophies is, is that when you have sex with another person, you give a piece of your soul. And it's kind of geared towards the women. Um, the women that have sex with men, it's like a part of each of the man's soul that she had, each partner that she had had, that she had had sex with, she collectively gathered those souls. So her personality actually changes per relationship, which I can kind of, I can kind of believe that, you know, if you meet a girl and this girl has been in several relationships, she's not gonna be like the person you may have met if you would have been her first partner. No, 
you know, and it's not even, I'm not even gearing it towards maturity. I'm actually gearing this towards her personality. Personalities change after being with partners because you're actually experiencing different types of personalities yourself. And in order to adapt, humans are very good at adapting. And that's something that we were built with. So when you are with a person, you are adapting to that other person's lifestyle and so they and so are they you know they have to adapt to you but then there's like a middle ground where you know depending on each individual maybe you had to adapt a little more maybe they had to a little more it's hard to say who had to change more but you're both changing you know and you might not be realizing it but you're changing so with that being said you know that aspect of that relationship you know it it, it, it's a sense of becoming someone different, you know, you, you have to start off like the, the, fin, the, you have the start off line and then you got all in between all the little journeys you go to go through with partners, you know, and now you're a different person as let's say when if you, you started dating when you were 20, now you're 30, you know, totally different person from when you were 20. You know, had you not had many partners, you would have been very similar to what you were before because you didn't have the, the you didn't have any reason to change. You know, there was nothing to test your resolve, so to speak. But um, again, you know, love in order to love in my perspective is to be undoubtedly incredibly focused on another individual very focused and um, that's one of the best ways for me to describe it again you're in tune with that individual but again if you disagree or if you do agree and you have experiences please share below you know comment share this video so that other people can see and also you know reflect we're always reflecting on one another. That's one thing about this channel that is going to be, I won't even say different, it's that I'm going to stay focused and true to these words where your problems are going to become my problems because I'm going to definitely hear out what's going on in your life and I'm going to do the best, the best that I can to help you improve because again, this channel is all about you.